Welcome back guys. In previous video, you learned about how to go ahead and install and set up Next.js uh, framework and also how to create different pages. And in this video, we're going to learn about how to create links. Okay. So what we're going to do is um, we'll create components. So you can create components outside in the root directory. Components. Okay, and then you can say okay, nav. Okay, so this is going to be for navigation, right? So inside of component, I can have a navigation, I can say const nav is equal to and I can just export nav sorry export default nav okay and then if i want to use links then i need to import link from next link okay so it already provides you with the routing by default you just have to import it from next okay so so what you can do is you can say div and inside of this you can write link and inside of this, you can write anything. You can write an A tag, you can write a div, it doesn't matter. Okay. You can also write span, you can write button. Okay. So you can write anything over here basically. So let's try it with, um, let's say, we can say A tag. Okay. And we will not use HRF over here, guys. HRF will go over here. That's why I said you can use anything in, inside of it. You can even use a button. So button doesn't require an HRF. So you don't need to put HRF over here. But yes, when you style it, you wouldn't put class name over here. It won't take class name right here. So you need to put class name over here when you are styling it. So we'll see in a moment how, how you actually style it. Okay. So this is going to be available at the root URL. And we're going to say home. You can give it the class name of home. That's fine. And similarly, we can create another link and we can put that as about and we can say about. Okay. Now, all I have to do is just import this link into my index.js as well as about.js. So, what I'm going to do is on top, I will say nav and you can see it's already imported right on top. So, I don't need to worry about it. And similarly, I need to import this into about as well. So let's do that. So nav and it's imported. Now let's see what happens. You can see automatically we have home. If I click on home, I go to the hello world page, which is my index.js. And if I click on about, it takes me to about page. Isn't that brilliant? And uh, so, now, of course, what I have to do over here is basically define nav in each and every component, which is not very useful. Um, we need reusability. So how do we do that? So we have an option of creating layout in Next.js. Okay. So what we're going to do is we'll create a component called layout. So layout.js and we'll say const layout is equal to Okay, and just export default layout, and we're just going to return it. We'll say div, and what we can do is we can say props dot children. So I'll explain to you in a moment what what this means, and we're going to include nav over here. Now what we can do is, instead of including nav everywhere, we can just import layout in the index.js. So I'm going to say layout with opening and closing one. And inside of this, then we can say hello world. This is my home page. Okay. So what do you expect to happen? What would happen is basically 
this is going to import the react uh, sorry it's going to import the layout component and this props.children that we have mentioned over here is going to be replaced by whatever content you put okay so which means that this this over here will be equivalent to what we have created this right here and props.children will be replaced by the content that you put inside of it you can put anything you can put dev over here you can put anything that you want this is content and let's see what happens so if you go to uh props is not defined let me check okay i need to just put props over here because this is a functional component so i need to put props over here let's have a look awesome so you can now see if you do an inspect element and if you check inside of next you have this div which is nothing but your navigation then you inside of props.children you have these two things first is this string and then you have this div so this props.children is replaced by whatever content you put inside of layout isn't that brilliant so what we're going to do is we can do the same thing for about as well and you guys tell me how should we do this okay so we get rid of this nav we don't need it anymore and yes you're right what we have to do is just say layout opening and closing tag and inside of this we just have to you know write whatever content we want so we can just say this is my about page let's have a look now if i click on about you can see that this is my about page awesome great brilliant so in this video guys you learned about how to create a link how to do routing in uh, next year so you can see how simple it was how easy it was you didn't actually have to install anything you just have to import the link and start creating uh, your navigation and you also learned about how to create layouts and if you did like my video guys please give a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel in the next video we are going to learn about how to go ahead and add styles to your components okay awesome see you then